So here we've got so we've got Mariel uh, being played on the quest. Um, this is a pretty cool uh, dungeon crawler. Um, it you, when you battle and you uh, move around the dungeon, it is a grid-like system. Um, I wish it was more fluid. Um, than it is, but it's pretty decent. It's kind of creepy as well. I mean, <laughs> traversing this dungeon is just a bit creepy because you don't know what's going to come your way. Um, you've got your uh, spells here. Your spells and your skills. You've got your map. Here's your inventory. There's your health and your um, weapons there, as well as your level and your experience points. And here you have your stat screen, so you've got your attributes here. This is where you can spend experience points to put up your attributes when you up your level. Here's your equipment. Here's your stats. I'm playing as a fighter. There's a fighter. Uh, sorcerer and I think barbarian or warrior, if I'm not mistaken, as different classes. Um, but yeah, this game's pretty uh, pretty awesome for a uh, a grid based um, RPG. Uh, although I will say that sometimes the map button doesn't always work, unfortunately. But I mean, as far as the atmosphere, the game nails it. Just nails it. Um, and you've got uh, switch puzzles and just everything you'd come to expect in a traditional uh, 80s, 90s um, <laughs> grid-based RPG, but for the modern era. Um, it's a pretty awesome game. And really, the VR doesn't do, do much, to, doesn't do it enough justice to just, I mean, this is a game you have to experience for yourself. Um, because it is just an awesome game. There's an enemy in there. I think it's a rat. Yeah, it's a rat. So I first started playing this game. It gave me kind of like uh, uh, the sermon game that I covered previously on the channel. Um, kind of gave, it kind of gave me those kind of vibes. Because it, it definitely plays similar. Um, what was that? I don't know what that was. That was creepy. But anyway, um, it plays kind of kind of similar to that. Now, one thing it doesn't do, which I really wish it did, is you can't actually use the torch to light any of these torches, which I thought would be kind of cool. Kind of like add to the overall immersiveness of the game. But sadly, you don't have that option. You don't have the ability to do that. And again, I don't like the grid-based movement system, especially when it comes to turning. It's snap grid when it should be. If I actually come to uh, oh, the wrong button, if I were to go ahead and go to options here, if I were to go to controls, yeah, it's on. It's on. Uh, it's on smooth rotation. So, yeah, that's, as far as, oh, I just quit, dang it, continue. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't like the grid-based system, um, I like the inventory system, I think it's kind of cool, the way that the chest inventory are managed, and I just sent start the game over again, that's cool. Anyway, um, yeah, this is uh, Burial, uh, an amazing um, <laughs> fun, immersive, um, uh, Dungeon Crawler RPG, definitely a game I suggest checking out, and I'm getting killed by that, the knight, and I just died, that was cool, I didn't even see it coming, um, <laughs> but yeah, I uh, definitely suggest checking this game out, guys, this is a very long, I want to thank the publisher for the opportunity, this game's phenomenal, I uh, definitely want to kind of recommend enough. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, of grid-based RPGs and you want a cool 
um, RPG on the Quest. Uh, this is definitely a game worth checking out. I'm going to kill this guy real quick. There we go. Got him that time. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to be here. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and have a gaming.